We don't want to try to do this to it. We want to let it come in there max amount of speed and just let it turn over. So try your pinky on the knob and really feel like you're just throwing the heavy part of the bat at the ball. Make sense? Yeah. Oklahoma State, Stillwater, Cowboy Baseball have been an integral part of your life for 30 plus years. So what has it been like coming back to it? Really been full circle. I mean, everything from moving back to Stillwater to seeing so many people you knew growing up to coming back out on this field and wearing the uniform again, seeing my own kids come and run around the ballpark like I did. I mean, really, you start thinking about uh, almost 12 months now since we've been back and all the different moments that, that come back up that make you go back down kind of your own personal history and certainly representing the university now as a head coach is something that's uh, very important to me and a uh, great new challenge in front of us to uh, you know create new history and history for our current players that hopefully is as meaningful to them as it, as it has been to me. So when I say Oklahoma State baseball as Josh Holiday wants it to be five, ten years from now, give me the, the core values and, and what you would like for it to be like. Well, the first thing is it's, it's Oklahoma State baseball as our program sees it. It's not about me at all. I'm a team-oriented person. I want this to be about our players. When you think about our program, I hope the images are of the players celebrating and hustling and diving and the great stories that they bring to Oklahoma State. Uh, that's what it was built on before, and it's what I want it to be about in the future. How would you describe your coaching style? Um, oh, probably just passionate. I don't really know. I'm not real self-reflective. Think he's out. He's out. Everyone knows he's out. Everyone knows he's out. Come on. I love what I do. I love the kids. I love the game. And uh, I like to think that uh, my knowledge of the game is strong. My appreciation for the game is strong. But the desire to learn and, and do better, to teach better and inspire and motivate better is hopefully going to be a lifelong journey where you keep getting better at it. I think any coach would tell you that you always have a ton to learn. I'll throw the first group. I want to see some of these swings from head on. And feel that snap in your hands. There it is. Good position. When you stay in your legs, you got a lot more control, a lot more playing. Your swing's in there flat or longer. When you climb, your barrel wants to lay out too early. That's where you hit a lot of fly balls. You know, you had opportunities to go a lot of places. You've been around the country as an assistant coach, professional baseball as well. But in the back of your mind was somewhere that thought it would sure be special to come back and be head coach at Oklahoma State. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, really. I, I guess there was a sense of pride and an ownership of what went on here that I, I felt uh, I belonged to. It didn't belong to me, but I belonged to it. You know, following OSU baseball, playing in it, coaching in it was so important to me that uh, it was really all I knew. And so to leave here um, was hard, very hard. But I always, in my heart, there was a sense of, you know, uh, that's still precious and dear to me. Even though I'm not there, it's still something I care about. And even though I was off at other places and was very much invested in where I was at. I always had a love for Oklahoma State. So when the opportunity came about, you know, you just kind of sit there for a minute and count your blessings because you don't always get that chance. You don't always get a chance to come back. They could have very easily hired somebody else here. So I'm grateful that they thought enough of me to give me a chance to come back here. And was it always something I hoped would happen? Sure, it was. But at the same time, you don't ever know. And you live each day to the fullest. But Oklahoma State's just different for me. There's something about it that you can't describe. And uh, you can't recreate my first 23 years of life, which were right here in this town at this school. So for me, probably too much emotion attached to this place. But I'd rather be uh, that in love with what I'm doing uh, than trying to convince myself this is the right place. And so we'll, we'll deal with the uh, maybe the, the energy and the pressure that I'm going to put on myself to, to live up to what I think Oklahoma State fans deserve.